everyone. This is Amaya with Luna Harvest. Thank you for joining us for part three in our video series, Sustaining Self-Care. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about intentional space setting and dive into a fun exercise to help you do that. So over the last videos, we talked about self-care and we talked about how it can end up being a band-aid when we use it as an afterthought. And so um, we're talking now about deepening our relationship to self-care, creating sustainable practices that we can implement into our everyday life. We also went over three tools on how to rekindle your self-love and how intentional space setting can make us truly feel at home within our own bodies. And today, I'm going to be diving in deeper into intentional space setting with a fun exercise on how to build your own altar. So in short, altars are like anchors that help us hang on to the things that we care about while we're in this transient state. So altars hold a very special place in my heart. Um, I grew up uh, Chicana, and so my grandma would live, lived in Juarez, and she had the most beautiful altars all the time, and they were always adapting. And so I just remember being in awe of that space and how quiet it would be, and just there was this perfect little corner. And so I'd have all her saints and pictures of us, um, old pictures of people that I didn't know and or people that had passed. And uh, funny enough, the TV was there too. <laughs> and so I, I, I love this. I love that... You know, she had all the things that she cared about and, you know, she was going to watch her soaps that night and she was going to say her prayers. Her altar was her anchor into how she lived her life. And so, I don't know if it was like a chicken or the egg type of situation, but as a kid, I was obsessed with organizing all my stuff and like making it in piles and I would find myself actually like putting all my stuff into one corner and staggering it up and, and building this elevation. And so... I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny thinking about it now, but I've always had this need to move things around and organize and really like carve out a space of my own and just, you know, be creative and just enjoy being creative. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of my altar practices that have helped me reclaim space. Now, this is going to be pretty simple stuff. Um, you know, a cloth in a box will do just fine. So I'm going to go over the basic steps and then you can kind of build upon it on your own. Okay, so making your own altar. The first thing you want to do is figure out where you want to put this altar. It doesn't have to be super elaborate or large. You just want to make sure that this space is unaffected by your everyday life. So once you find this space, clean it up, give it some love, give it some TLC. Um, the time that you spend here is great for setting intentions um, as to how you're gonna develop the space or what you really want this tiny little pocket um, to create for you in your real life. So you have your space, you've cleaned it up all nice. What do you put on it? So today I'm going to be talking to you about an elemental altar, and this is going to be super, super simple. This is about um, looking at the elements as energy and seeing the energy as agency for us and the things that we want to accomplish. So for now, I'm going to go over the elements, um, what they mean, what they do for us. And then at the end of that, I'm going to combine all of these elements together into one simple practice for your altar. So first we have air. And this is about collective action and consciousness. Then we have water, which is emotion, earth, our constant, and finally, fire. And that's our will and manifestation. So here's a safe way to implement all of these elements into one ritual. Take a candle and light it. There you have your fire and your earth represented in the cotton wick. Put that candle into a bowl of water. This water is going to be holding all the emotion, setting the intention. Alongside it, you can have some incense that's going to represent air. Spend some time in this space and start thinking about what you want to manifest. So what to do with your altar? I recommend setting a daily practice. And this can be something from like a gratitude list, um, you know, intention setting. This could be like one minute of your day, five minutes of your day, an hour of your day. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you keep coming back to it. We keep going back to the idea of routine and how powerful it is in our life. Altar work can be the physical embodiments of your intentions, but could also just be the things that make you happy. For me, I love pineapples. Don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I have them everywhere. Um, I tend to build altars all over the house. And so for this video, I just kind of like popped around and picked the things that were most attractive to me at the time. And so, um, you know, people have um, grown to realize my love for pineapples. And so gifts have come from that. And so at my altars, I'll find um, my pineapples, gifts from friends. Um, you know, I have certain saints that I'm attracted to because of certain family members and things that I grew up with. 
it's all about keeping it personal. Whether you're a minimalist and you like to keep things clean or you're a maximalist and you have so much stuff you don't know what to do with, that it's important for us to carve out a little space for us to revisit whenever we need to. And better yet, something that is integrated into our daily life and practice. And it helps to have some sort of physical embodiment of the intention you're trying to set. So over the last three videos, we've talked about many tools on how to achieve sustainable self-care. We've talked about rekindling self-love and how sustaining a practice can only help us. These are gifts that you can take with you wherever you go. However, if you're needing a little extra help on how to reignite your space, I've been working on a project that I'm so excited to share with you in my final video, which ties together all these concepts that we've been discussing over the past week. In the meantime, I have a challenge for you. Build your own altar and then pick a daily practice that you're going to sustain for one week. And this can be very simple, like a short meditation or a gratitude list. But if you do this, we would love to see your altars. So if you post those pictures up and use the hashtag, show us your altar, we'll definitely feature you. Don't forget, tonight is the last night to enter into our candle giveaway. You can find a link below this video. And in the meantime, what are your favorite rituals? Are there, is there anything that you're doing now or that you know that a friend is doing that's working for them? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you.